Senator Angus King has proposed a bill to regulate the sale, transfer, and manufacturing of certain semi-automatic weapons. The announcement comes roughly one month after the Lewiston mass shooting in late October. The Gas-Operated Semi-Automatic Firearm Exclusion, or GoSafe Act, would limit large-capacity ammunition-feeding devices to hold no more than 10 rounds and require gas-powered semi-automatic firearms to have fixed magazines. King says the bill won't hinder Americans who own guns for self-defense hunting or visiting the shooting range. We're not talking about taking anybody's gun away. We're not talking about uh, severely limiting the traditional culture of, of gun use. We're talking about restricting the lethality of weapons that are designed more for killing people than doing pretty much anything else. The legislation would also outlaw gun conversion devices like bump stocks and Glock switches, which allow guns to fire rapidly. King introduced the bill with his colleague, New Mexico Senator Martin Heinrich, who says the bill focuses on preventing gunmen from quickly reloading during a shooting incident. AR-15s or assault rifles, the, the weapons in a number of mass shootings, aren't dangerous because of how they look. They're dangerous because they use expanding gas to simultaneously fire one round and reload the next round into the chamber while staying on target. A number of weapons would be exempt from the bill, as shown on your screen, including bolt-action rifles, semi-automatic shotguns, and more. We spoke with Maine Military Supply General Manager Mike Vignali, who prepared and read on camera a statement in response to the legislation. Any laws proposed or enacted to control guns don't prevent crime with guns. They only allow control of people who want to be law-abiding. The only way to help stop violence is to strengthen access to mental health resources and allow current systems to access those records to function effectively. The bill would also create a voluntary buyback program, which would allow those who already own guns that would be banned under the bill to get paid for turning them in. To learn more about the GoSafe Act, visit our website at foxbangor.com. In Bangor, David Ledford, ABC 7 and Fox 22 News.